John Lee, best-selling author, speaks about the personal experience that led him to develop writing from the body for writers, artists, and dreamers who long to free their voice. Years ago, uh, after writing The Flying Boy, Healing the Wounded Man, uh, quite a few people came up and asked me, how did, how did I write this book? And the answer that came to me uh, right from the beginning is that I wrote this book from my body. In years past, I've been trying to write from my head, write from my intellect, write from my academic training. And I found that just didn't work for me, that what I had to do was go way down deep inside my body, inside my soul, inside my bones, inside my back and my gut. And there was where I was going to find the material that would make this book, The Flying Boy, uh, a bestseller, I'm happy to say. So uh, a few years go by and people keep asking me this question and I keep answering the same way. So I decided why not write a book and, and, and tell folks, uh, writers, would-be writers, really creative people of, it, of all kinds, how to access the emotion, the truth, uh, the fears, the woundedness that is in our bodies that wants and yearns to come out on paper. So with that, I wrote this little book, Writing from the Body. I'm going to read you a couple of poems that I think is really illustrative of what I call body writing as opposed to brain writing. This is by Tim Siebels called The Body New. Long before there were words, long before there was patience, the body was twiddling its thumbs. Long before this haze of lies, this swirl of stupid things said and done, the body knew. Long before the animals ran from men, before the lands were named, before the clouds rose up and flew, the body knew. The body knew the tongue would come up with something to say, that the ears would listen, that the words would come like ants, that soon the brain would be infested and the head would grow hard and heavy. The body knew. The body knew it would be forgotten be used to take the brain here and over there, to make money, to make relationships, to assume the countless postures of idiocy, to sign the contracts, the treaties, uh, to stock the stores, the homes, the schools, the offices, the streets, the prisons, the bottle, battlefields, the body bags. The body knew it would be lost under fabrics that soon the belly would hang and the back would be stiff, that the days would pass, the months would pass, the years would pass, the body knew. It would be rated X because the body knew words would be used to deceive, to decorate, to pack the space between bodies until reaching out meant climbing the mountains of things said. The body knew the brain would be a bully, that the face would be a canvas forever painted with words, that love could never be what it said it was, that a word was always a mask. The body knew, the body knew it would dream of headlessness, the way a breast dreams of brawlessness, of blouselessness, of sunlight and weightlessness. The body knew that someday it would have to move, to forget to dance, to forget that it knew what it knew that it knew. John Lee offers this innovative material in 90-minute online courses, two-day writer's workshops in Austin, Texas and Mentone, Alabama, and in a two-day one-on-one master class. For current dates and details, visit www.johnleebooks.com.